It's like 2.43 Monday evening. Um, another day, another bike. We're gonna go pick up another bike. It's a moped this time. Let's go outside, it's really windy. That's why I kind of started the video in here, but. Ooh, it's nice out. Got the truck already. I already dropped off a, a bike today already. The IT, I sold that for 650 bucks. Made 350 on it, which was pretty nice. Today we're gonna go pick up a moped. Um, it's a pedal moped for 50 bucks in Oshkosh. Should be pretty cool. I'll take you guys along for the ride. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be picking up a bike like every day this week. So get, get used to this type of video. So sometimes the videos are gonna be kind of boring. Sometimes they're gonna be pretty interesting. So stick with me. Um, yeah, each day is different. So, so let's go look at the moped. All right, I'm back. Picked up the scooter. It's a, what is it, a Jawa? I don't even know what that means, but let's see. Jawa moped scooter thing. It's got a speedometer up there. It's got nice tires on it. I mean, it looks like it's gonna be cleaned up really nice. Like all that stuff comes off. It's got the nice leather seat on the top, which usually those are all really, really bad, but it's not horrible. Um, all the lights are on it, which is pretty nice. It's got the nice pipe. Well, how big is that? I'm trying to figure that out. Hmm. Let's take a look at it. It's got the muffler in it. That's good. Shall we take a look in the gas tank? Didn't even look at this. It's 50 bucks, and I can't really complain about it too much. It's got the rubber seal on it. That's rubber right here. That just kind of pops on there. Doesn't even twist. Seven thousand. Oh wait, seven hundred ninety-four miles. Thought it was seven thousand at first. So I was about to freak out there. I'm like, what? That thing had seven thousand miles on it. That'd be crazy. But then it's got the choke up here. I've got the the throttle uh, in the car over there. And that goes right here, and that wire broke off right here, which is not too bad. And then the brake. Oh, well, this is another. This is a throttle piece that the guy gave me, I guess. And then a horn, which is kind of cool. Let's get the horn. Where is the horn? Let's try to find the horn. No way does it have the horn still on it. Must be in there. But look at that thing. <laughs> Shall we open it? Which way does it come? I wonder if you push it out like that. I'm gonna have to take a screwdriver and kind of push it. I guess there it comes. <laughs> this is what's inside there. Little air filter. Goes right in there like that. I don't know. That thing's weird. It's really weird. Where does that thing go in there? Let's see. But yeah, I mean, the gas is right here. Fuel valve. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll uh, power wash it, clean it up, and we'll talk more about it in like two minutes. So see you then. Alright guys, get the moped kind of cleaned up. Um, I did get it to fire a couple times. But, it's not really uh, staying fired for some reason. Clean out the carburetor. Um, <sighs> I've been kicking that thing over forever. Trying to pedal it, kind of tired. Okay, but um, yeah. Clean out the tank, kind of-ish. Um, got the old gas out of it, stuff like that. Still leaks by the pet cock. Um, so that's not good. Have to get new gas line for it. Uh, let's see the throttle. This thing still to fix. I mean, it still works, but just not the way I wanted to. Probably gonna sell it for like 300 bucks. Put it on Craigslist right away. Um, I know a lot of you guys want me to like go over how I sell things on Craigslist and what I do. So I'm gonna go over, as you can see, it's raining right now. This is pretty crappy out right now, but it's kind of nice. 
But anyway, let's go over a couple things to go over when I sell a bike. So today, this is what I did. Woke up, checked Craigslist, um, didn't really see anything. Dropped off the IT in, uh, where was that? Oconomowoc. On my way back, I'm oh, tired. Um, I checked Craigslist again, and what do you know, in Appleton, Oshkosh area, there was a moped. 50 bucks. I'm like, okay, hopefully I can uh, pick that up. So I emailed the guy, and he said like five other people were coming. I'm like, what if I get there before him? He said I could have it. So I went there, got it, picked it up. Okay, next step. You always want to power wash it, no matter what. I mean, even if it's got like a little bit of mud on it, it always makes it look good when you power wash it. So first step is, get out of the truck, get the hose, power wash it off. It's gonna look pretty good. Like, look at that, I mean, that's pretty nice. There's not too much rust on it. The seat is the only thing that has duct tape right there. I mean, it's pretty nice. Um, but the third thing is, you wanna do is uh, clean up the chrome, if you do have chrome, and it's rusty. You want to clean it up with some tin foil. I don't think I have any to show you, but what you do is uh, take tin foil. I want to get some. Let me go grab some quick. All right, got some tin foil right here. It's actually aluminum foil. So you want to do is get some soapy hot water, some uh, aluminum foil, and let's demonstrate it right here. See how that's all rusty right there? I don't know if you guys can see that, but what you do is spray some water on it. Take the tin foil. It gets rid of the rust. It doesn't get rid of the pitting, obviously. And the idea behind it is, see that rust coming off? The idea behind it is the aluminum is softer than the chrome, so it takes off the rust, but not the chrome. So it's kind of nice. Then, see that rust coming off? And you take a rag, Alright, let's get, go get the rag, and I'll get a paper towel so you guys can see how much rust actually comes off of it. It's hard to see with this lighting, but, I mean, that's all the rust. That's the chrome underneath. You just work at that for a little bit. And uh, gets most of the rust off of it. So that's one trick. Um, and then you clean it up really, really nice. Oh, the sun's coming back out. And then when the sun comes back out, what you want to do is uh, work on it outside. If you can't get it to run, you always want to make it look the best you can so that uh, the next guy thinks it's like well taken care of. So what you want to do, clean it up really, really nice. Go outside when it's sunny out. Take really good pictures of it from every angle and post it on Craigslist in like five areas. Um, that way more people can see it, more people can have a chance to buy it, and uh, yeah. So like with the KTM, what you do is clean it up, power wash it, same thing as the moped. Clean it up, power wash it, take really good pictures of it, post it in four different areas. Um, usually you wanna put like, put it up a couple hundred more dollars than what you paid for it, because people offer usually like $200 less, so you wanna put it up $400 more than what you paid for. So let's say you bought this thing for a thousand bucks, you want to put it up to fourteen hundred, then you might take an offer of twelve hundred on it because you know that you can make the two hundred. I hope that makes sense. Um, I mean, it's a pretty easy system. Usually, people like, even if it's a little bit higher, people like getting a good deal, knowing that they kind of chewed you down in the price. I'm the same way. I like to get a couple hundred knocked down, even though the bike is priced high. You know, um, it's kind of like a good feeling you get when you. And get the price down a little bit but yeah that's about it I think uh, and then obviously people come they call you set up a time um, to look at the bike and uh, yeah they come out check it out usually they they try to find problems wrong with it like they look in the gas tank and if it's rusty they're like oh it's rusty and I'm like yeah that's that's kind of uh you can't really do much about that and they try to chew you down the price but always stay kind of firm on the price um, I usually they offer you like like for this bike if it was listed as like 400 they offered you like 300 then usually they offer you like another $50 off when they get here I usually don't take the the $50 off when they get here I usually say like um 
let's see here. Uh, no, I only put it up for like a couple weeks. I'm gonna see if I can get more for it, stuff like that. And uh, usually they, they end up buying it because they usually drove a pretty far way to get here. So you kind of have a good hand to play, I guess you could say. Um, you're like, oh, you drove, like, let's say they drove like 40 minutes to get here, or like an hour, that's an average of like $20 per, in gas to get here and back. So I mean, if you're buying a $300 moped, you're gonna take it with you, pretty much, no matter what. So that's one thing I could kind of play towards. I never really go lower than 300 bucks on this one. Um, with dirt bikes, same way. I mean, they came here for a purpose to get a bike that's probably close to them. So, yeah, don't ever let someone chew you down too much. That's another good tip. Um, leave a comment what you guys want to know. I, I've, I've been selling bikes for probably three years now, and I've sold a lot. So, I mean, I have pretty, pretty good experience with selling bikes to other people and kind of knowing the price range of different bikes and what to sell different bikes at. Selling the moped for 500 bucks, which is probably way too cheap. I mean, if I wanted to sell it, I want to sell it like the day of I buy it. So then you can buy new bikes and keep on rotating in the process of getting new bikes and selling those bikes. Like this moped I picked up today. I'm going to probably post it tonight. And pretty cheap, so I can sell it tomorrow. And uh, turn around that cash really quick. It's better than uh, waiting like a week and making like another 50 bucks when you could go out and get a different bike make that 50 bucks the same day so yeah now i'm probably gonna go take some pictures of it of course it's sunny out so i'll uh, take pictures of it post it on craigslist and uh, wait for a call yeah charlie's not here i don't know where he is but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it was pretty informative um if you guys have any questions obviously leave it below in the comments and uh, everyone should probably go pick up a bike, try it out. It's a fun time. You make some good money on it. So, all right, we'll talk to you next time. We're out. Thinking to go off, and it just might.